Hey guys, and welcome to IELTS Ultimate Speaking Guide Part 3. Just in case you are wondering who the person is speaking to you right now, there I am. Your teacher today is me, John. Welcome aboard. The third part of the IELTS speaking test is the discussion part. Your topic will be related to the topic discussed in the second part. The examiner will ask you more complex questions and expect longer answers. Expect to be asked between five to seven questions. Unlike the second part, you have no time to prepare. This part of the test can last from five to six minutes. The most important thing to remember is to answer immediately. Since part two was about a popular tourist attraction, in our example, part three will deal with the topic of tourism. The examiner might ask the following questions for this topic. How has tourism changed in the last 50 years? Now, before we answer this discussion question, let's look at some awesome tips to see how you can get a band score of seven or higher. Come up with three points to discuss. You don't need three, but it helps you have a longer answer. And if you have more points to discuss, remember, in the speaking test, you cannot write anything down. Your three points need to be in your head. For this question, I quickly thought of three points to discuss in my answer. One, more people travel. Two, easier to travel. Three, cheaper. Speak five to six sentences for each answer. Now again, there is not a rule that says you must speak five to six sentences, but you are expected to have a well thought of answer with examples and points to support your view. So from my experience, if you aim for five or six sentences, you will be more likely to achieve a seven or higher band score. So how do you come up with five or six sentences for part three? Well, this could be a good way to structure your answer. Always start with an introduction sentence and use your three points that you thought of in your answer. So this kind of structure would be a six sentence answer. Use three to four transition phrases for each answer. Now, this is very important. If you use transition phrases in part three, it shows that your answer has structure. Also, it makes your answer more formal. You should try to speak in a formal way in part three. There are so many transition phrases to choose from. You should try to have three or four in every answer in part three. These are some of my favorites. From my understanding, first of all, take something for example. Furthermore, for starters, moreover, fortunately. Use a formal sentence to introduce your answer. This is where a lot of students make a mistake. Your first sentence should be long. Answer the question and sound formal. A lot of students make these mistakes. If they are asked a question, they answer too short and too informally. Don't say, I think yes. Don't say, I think so. I also tell my students that don't say in my opinion because that phrase is overused. Instead, say, I'm of the opinion that, or it's my view that. Use bigger vocabulary. I mean, you should use a thesaurus to look up the words and choose words that are not expected. A thesaurus is just like a dictionary. Remember, vocabulary is 25% of your overall speaking score.
Here are some fantastic examples of better vocabulary words. Use a thesaurus! In part three, you do not have the time to prepare or write down your answers. You are expected to answer immediately. If you take too long to answer, the examiner will give you a lower score. Also, another very important tip. You absolutely must not say, I don't know, on the test. Instead, you could say, that's a great question. I've never thought of that before. Let me think about it. I suppose that... But you are still expected to answer the question. Now, let's try to answer the original question about tourism that we saw earlier. How has tourism changed in the last 50 years? From my understanding, travel has changed in a number of ways. First of all, nowadays more people travel. Take China for example. That country has over 1 billion people, and the Chinese only recently started taking trips abroad in large numbers. Furthermore, only recently has it become more convenient to travel, due primarily to smartphones. For example, we have access to GPS. Sorry. For starters, we have access to GPS, and we don't need to worry about getting lost in a new destination. Moreover, language barriers are no longer a major issue. Fortunately, our phones have rather sophisticated apps, such as Google Translate. More questions you can practice with on your own. What are the disadvantages of tourism? Generally speaking, tourism is positive. Having said that, there are a couple of disadvantages. To begin with, an increase of tourism can result in an increase in crime. Tourist areas usually see higher numbers of petty theft and pickpocketing. In addition to crime, big cities that become popular with tourists tend to have higher costs of living. As a result, local residents cannot afford to pay rent in their own city. New York is evidence of this. What is the future of tourism? I've never given that question any thought. I suppose that the future of tourism will develop with changing technology. In the past, people stayed at hotels. Currently, people use apps to book rooms with local people on Airbnb. I'm certain that this trend will only increase and hotels will be forced to reduce their rates in order to compete in the market. Furthermore, travel seems to be getting more affordable due to competition. More people are traveling now as a result, there are more options to choose from. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Ultimate Guide to Speaking Part 3 Discussion. I have an awesome website and also an amazing blog. Just search online for www.improveyourspeakingscore.com. The blog gets updated twice a week. Also find us on Facebook and YouTube. And finally, if you need to contact me, I will be in my Facebook group called Improve Your Speaking Score Community. Be sure to search for that. It's awesome. I'm online in that group every day. I have hundreds and hundreds of active members. Thank you so much for watching. Please press like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear your comments. Thank you.